In this video, I'm redesigning this aerator that's used in my aquaponics system. Apparently, all I grow is oregano and weeds. This design is really simple, but really janky. It sucks in air into the water and makes it Because the current design is simple and works, I've decided to break out the 3D printer for a more complicated and frustrating design. Before I can print, I need to get a plan though. I figure the best place to go is straight to the source. These fish have been eating and living here for free for quite some time. And it is time to pay up, one way or another. It turns out fish are really good at social distancing, and I couldn't get them to give me any answers whatsoever. After an awkward situation, I did what most people do and just assume I wasn't cool enough and overcompensated. Anyway, here's the design I ended up with. The pressure differential caused by the large to small cross section causes air to enter in through these small holes and get diffused into the water. If I get too sciencey with this, people will get disinterested and stop watching. So just know that this works, but most importantly, it looks really cool. Whenever people talk about 3D printing, it's always how amazing it is. Never the 20 times I spent trying to get this to work. But if you throw in a fertilizer at the wall, it'll eventually stick. Anyways, this design has 150 one millimeter holes versus the several millimeter tube into one opening of the original interior. Is this design better? That is a definite maybe. At the very least, a strong probably. I hope you enjoyed this video because I now smell like fish water and my wife will not get me. Until next time, have a great day.